In this video, we are going to have a detailed discussion on the concept everyone as you pushed out covering answers to the questions most of you have. Apart from having an in-depth discussion on the concept, I'm also going to clarify some of the common misconceptions that seem to contradict other very common ideas. Is taking action important? Does my SP have free will? We'll be answering all of these questions in this video. The truth of the matter is that all this manifestation concept fits together perfectly with everything you've learned from 3D and that whether we are limited or infinite is really about the frame of reference. Also, I'm creating a manifestation community for you to participate and exchange ideas with one another and also ask some questions. The updated details of the community will be added to the description of this video, so don't forget to check it out. Without further ado, let's jump in. So, have you ever heard the phrase everyone is pushed out? It's a concept that's been around for a while, but it's most commonly associated with Neville Goddard, a well-known actor from Barbados who became famous for his lectures on manifestation in the mid-20th century. Basically, what Neville is saying is that every single person you meet is a reflection of yourself. They're all characters that you've created in your own mind, just like in your dreams. And just like most people don't realize they're dreaming until they wake up, we don't realize that every person we meet is a reflection of ourselves in our waking life either. But once we realize that everyone is a reflection of ourselves, we can take control of our waking experience and change things in ways that were very difficult or impossible before. Because if you have thoughts or beliefs like, X person always does that or all women are bad drivers, then people will act out those roles in your reality. Let me give you an example from my own life, I have average height and I have a friend who's a bit taller than me. But my friend is obsessed with his height, to the point that he'll kick me under the table to remind me to lie about his height. But in all my life, I've never had an issue with my height. I don't think being tall is better than being short or vice versa. But my buddy's obsession with his height is something he created in his own mind. And by his constantly thinking and focusing on it, he made it into a reality for him. So, the key here is to realize that everyone is a reflection of yourself, and then take control of your thoughts and beliefs. Because the people you meet, the experiences you have, they're all a reflection of what's going on in your own mind. You know, it's all about being aware of your thoughts, and then choosing to think differently. And once you start doing that, you'll start to see changes in the people you meet and the experiences you have. So, go out there and give it a try. You may be surprised by how much control you actually have over your reality. Everyone is mirroring you. Another way to think about it is that the people and experiences in your life are mirrors of your own inner state. So if you're feeling insecure, for example, you might attract people and situations that reflect that insecurity back to you. But if you work on building confidence within yourself, then you'll start to attract people and situations that reflect that confidence. It's important to understand that this doesn't mean that other people don't have their own thoughts and feelings. It just means that the way they show up in your life is a reflection of what's going on inside of you. And once you start to realize that, you can take responsibility for the things that you're attracting into your life and start to create the reality that you want. One way to do this is by using visualization and affirmations. For example, if you want to attract a certain kind of person into your life, you can visualize yourself interacting with that person and feeling the emotions that you want to feel. And you can also use affirmations to reinforce those feelings and thoughts. Another way is to be in tune with how you feel when you're in the presence of certain people. Are they making you feel good or are they bringing you down? This can also help you to understand yourself better and how your mind and thoughts react to different people. In summary, the idea behind everyone as you pushed out is that every person and every experience in your life is a reflection of yourself. Once you realize that, you can take control of your thoughts and beliefs and start to create the reality that you want. By being aware of your thoughts, using visualization and affirmations, and paying attention to how you feel when you're around certain people, you can start to manifest the life you truly desire. Don't try to rush the process of change. Another important aspect of this concept is to understand that change is not something that happens overnight. It is a process, and it requires consistent effort and practice. It's not just about visualizing and affirming what you want once and expecting everything to change. It's about developing a new way of thinking and being and then integrating it into your everyday life. One of the most powerful ways to change your thoughts and beliefs is through self-reflection. Take the time to sit down and examine your thoughts, beliefs, and emotions. Look at the areas of your life where you feel stuck or unfulfilled, and identify the underlying thoughts and beliefs that are keeping you there. This can help you to understand where your limiting beliefs are coming from and how to replace them with more empowering ones. It's also essential to be patient and compassionate with yourself in the process of change. Change takes time and sometimes we might falter and fall back into old patterns, but that's okay. The important thing is to acknowledge it, learn from it and keep moving forward. Finally, it's also important to remember that this concept doesn't mean that you should take no responsibility for your actions and the consequences of them. This concept is based on the idea of personal responsibility and taking ownership of the reality that you are creating. Everyone as you pushed out is an idea that can be incredibly empowering, but it also requires a certain level of self-awareness and commitment to personal growth. If you're willing to put in the effort, it can help you to manifest the life you truly want 
and deserve. The burden of being all alone and the blame-shifting trap. Another thing to keep in mind is that the idea of everyone as you pushed out doesn't mean that you are responsible for all the negative things that happen in your life or that of others. It's not a blame-shifting concept, it's a way to understand that the people and situations we encounter are reflections of our inner state, and that we have the power to change our inner state to change our external reality. It's also important to remember that not all people or situations in our lives are a direct result of our thoughts and beliefs. Sometimes things happen that are beyond our control, such as natural disasters or accidents. However, the way we choose to react and respond to these situations is within our control, and that choice is influenced by our thoughts and beliefs. It's also crucial to recognize the role that past experiences, upbringing, and societal influences play in shaping our thoughts and beliefs. It's not always easy to change these patterns of thinking and some individuals might need professional support in order to do so. In conclusion, the idea of everyone as you pushed out is a way to understand that the people and experiences in our lives are a reflection of our inner state. It encourages us to take responsibility for the reality we are creating and to work on shaping our thoughts and beliefs to manifest the life we truly desire. It's not a concept that can be fully understood or put into practice overnight, and it requires consistent effort, patience, and self-awareness. Additionally, it is important to not to blame yourself for things outside of your control and consider seeking professional support if needed. It's not an excuse for a lack of empathy. It's also important to mention that while this concept encourages self-awareness and personal responsibility, it's not to be confused with a lack of empathy and consideration for others. Just because someone is a reflection of ourselves doesn't mean that their feelings and actions aren't valid or important. It is important to understand that every person is going through their own journey and that we are all connected. This concept should not be used to justify mistreatment of others or disregard their feelings, but rather as a tool for self-improvement and understanding. Another thing to consider when applying this concept is the importance of boundaries. We may attract people and situations that reflect our inner state, but it doesn't mean that we should put up with toxic or harmful behavior from others. It's important to set boundaries and take care of ourselves emotionally and physically. Also, it's not always easy to understand the root cause of certain beliefs or thoughts that might be holding us back. Sometimes it requires some digging and exploration of our past experiences, traumas or limiting beliefs. It could be helpful to seek out professional support such as therapy, or counseling. In summary, the idea of everyone as you pushed out is a powerful concept that can help us understand the role our thoughts and beliefs play in creating our reality. But it's also important to remember that it doesn't mean we're solely responsible for everything that happens in our lives. It's important to have boundaries, not to disregard other people's feelings and to consider seeking professional support if needed. The goal is not to place blame but to gain understanding and to work on ourselves to create a better reality. The Trap of Materialism Another thing to keep in mind is that when using this concept, it's important not to focus solely on manifesting material things or external circumstances. While manifesting those things is possible and can be beneficial, true fulfillment comes from within. It's important to focus on manifesting inner peace, love, and happiness. Because when we have those things within us, we will naturally attract the things we want in our lives. It's also important to remember that this concept is not a magic solution to all of our problems. It requires work, effort, and consistent practice. It's not something that can be done overnight or without taking action. Manifestation is a process, and it requires consistent effort and alignment of thoughts, emotions, and actions. Additionally, it's not just about focusing on positive thoughts and beliefs, it's also important to address and process negative thoughts and emotions. It's a balance between both. When we repress negative thoughts and emotions they might still be affecting our reality. By addressing them we can process them and release them. In conclusion, the idea of everyone as you pushed out is a powerful concept that can help us understand the role our thoughts and beliefs play in creating our reality. But it's important to remember that it's not a magic solution, requires consistent effort, not to disregard other people's feelings and consider seeking professional support if needed. Additionally, manifesting fulfillment comes not just from external circumstances, but also inner peace, love, and happiness. It's a balance between addressing both negative and positive thoughts and taking action towards manifesting the reality we want. The trap of laziness. Another important aspect to keep in mind is that this concept should not be used as an excuse for not taking action. Manifestation is not just about thinking positively, it's also about taking inspired action towards what you want to manifest. Our thoughts and beliefs can shape our reality, but they also require action to make them a reality. This concept should not be used as an excuse for not taking responsibility for our own lives and being passive in the face of challenges. Instead, it should be used as a tool to gain insight, understand how our thoughts and beliefs shape our reality and guide us in taking effective action. 
It's also important to remember that this concept doesn't mean that we can manifest anything we want instantly. It's a gradual process, and it may take time to manifest the things we want in our lives. It's important to be patient, be persistent and not lose sight of the bigger picture. Lastly, it's important to keep in mind that this concept doesn't mean that we can control the actions and thoughts of others, and that we should not try to do so. Everyone is responsible for their own thoughts and actions, and it's important to respect that and not try to manipulate or control others. In conclusion, the concept of everyone as you pushed out is a powerful tool that can help us understand how our thoughts and beliefs shape our reality. But it's important to remember that it requires consistent effort, not to disregard other people's feelings and consider seeking professional support if needed. Additionally, it's not just about thinking positively but also taking inspired action. Not a magic solution, requires patience and persistence, and to respect other people's autonomy. The trap of avoiding self-improvement. It's also important to mention that this concept should not be used as an excuse for not working on oneself, or not putting in the effort to better ourselves and our lives. While our thoughts and beliefs shape our reality, it's also important to take care of ourselves physically, emotionally, and mentally. This concept can be a powerful tool for self-improvement, and it's important to use it in a way that serves us and our well-being, not just to manifest superficial things. It's important to use this concept as a way to improve ourselves and grow, not just as a way to manifest external things. Additionally, it's important to remember that this concept doesn't mean that you can manifest something that is against the laws of nature, or that goes against the well-being of others. Manifestation should always be done with the intention of creating the best outcome for all. In conclusion, the concept of everyone as you pushed out is a powerful tool that can help us understand how our thoughts and beliefs shape our reality. It is important to use this concept as a way to improve ourselves and grow, not just as a way to manifest external things. Additionally, it's important to remember that this concept does not mean to not work on oneself, not put in the effort to better ourselves, not try to manipulate or control others, respect the laws of nature and consider the well-being of others. The subjective and nuanced nature of everyone is you pushed out. It's also important to note that this concept is not a one-size-fits-all solution, and it's important to be open-minded to other perspectives. It's important to do research and seek out other teachings, philosophies, and practices that can help to expand your understanding of reality creation and manifestation. It's also important to not become overly reliant on this concept and to not make it the sole focus of your life. It's just one tool among many that can help you to create the reality you want, but it's important to have a balance of other practices and aspects in your life such as self-care, relationships, and pursuing passions and goals. Lastly, it's important to not become discouraged if things don't manifest immediately. Sometimes it takes time and effort, and it's important to not give up on your dreams and goals. Also, even when you manifest something, it's not a guarantee that it will always be perfect. It's important to also let go of expectation and be open to the journey, be open to change and evolution. In conclusion, the concept of everyone as you pushed out is a powerful tool that can help us understand how our thoughts and beliefs shape our reality. However, it's important to use it in a balanced way, research and explore other teachings, not becoming overly reliant on it, not to give up, not to expect everything to be perfect, and be open to the journey, evolution and change. The trap of avoiding personal responsibility. Another important point to keep in mind is that this concept should not be used to justify a lack of effort, or personal responsibility. Just because our thoughts and beliefs shape our reality, it doesn't mean that we can just sit back and expect things to happen without any effort or action on our part. Manifestation is a combination of both intentional thoughts and beliefs and taking inspired action towards what we want to manifest. Additionally, it's important to remember that just because we manifest something, it doesn't mean that it will always be easy or that we won't face challenges or obstacles. Manifestation is a process and it may require persistence, perseverance, and hard work to manifest what we desire. It's also important to recognize that manifesting something doesn't mean that it will bring eternal happiness. People tend to think that once they manifest something, they will be happy forever, but true happiness comes from within. It's important to focus on inner well-being, self-care and understanding that material things will not make us truly happy. You're still a part of the collective. Finally, it's important to remember that this concept can also be applied in a collective way, not just in an individual way. Our thoughts, beliefs and actions as a society shape the reality of the collective. It's important to be aware of the impact of our thoughts and actions on the collective and to strive for collective well-being and to work towards creating a better reality for everyone. It's important to keep in mind that this concept should be used in a way that is in alignment with one's values and moral principles. Manifestation should never be used to harm or exploit others. It's important to strive for the greater good and consider the well-being of all. Additionally, it's important to keep an open mind when it comes to manifesting. 
Sometimes, we may have a specific idea of what we want to manifest, but the universe may have something even better in store for us. Sometimes, we might manifest something in an unexpected way or form. It's important to be open to the unknown and let go of expectations. In conclusion, the concept of everyone as you pushed out is a powerful tool that can help us understand how our thoughts and beliefs shape our reality. But it's important to keep in mind that it requires consistent effort, not to disregard other people's feelings. Consider seeking professional support if needed. Strive for balance, not becoming overly reliant on it. Not to give up, not to expect everything to be perfect and be open to change and evolution. Not to use it in a way that harms others, and to strive for the greater good, and be open to the unknown and let go of expectation. If you found the video informative, don't forget to hit the thumbs up for YouTube to push the video who might this helpful. And as always, it was a pleasure having this conversation. If you have any questions or inquiries, drop a comment below the video. Like I've already mentioned at the start, I'm going to create a community very soon, and you will find the details in the video description. See you soon, and thanks for sticking around till the end.